Hello, hey, I'm Mr. Bell. This is BA213 Accounting 3. Welcome to the course. I'm going to walk you through the, uh, the website a little bit and then I'm going to point out some things that are different from this course than previous courses, right? So most likely you've taken Accounting 1 and 2 with me uh, and if not, uh, there's a lot more information that you're going to need to know, so get a hold of me if you haven't had me for a class before, and I'll give you an in-depth uh, explanation of all the different uh, things that we do in the course. But So let's go ahead and get started. What are the, What's different about this term than previous terms? Well, for the first thing, this is a summer term, right? So we only have eight weeks, and so we're going to kind of compact the course a little bit in that case. So let's let's walk through the schedule. Okay, so here's the schedule link on Blackboard. So the schedule basically we're going to do uh, one chapter a week, right? Because we have eight chapters to cover in the course. There, there's going to be an exam every two weeks. So uh, we've got here week one being chapter 18, week two, 19, and so forth, right? So in week two, by the time you finish up week two, everything, again, is all prerequisite to one another. And so as soon as you begin week two, really you're beginning the prep for exam one. So you can take that on your, uh, at your own location at your own time, right? Uh, you can also retake the exam. So if you want to retake them and do better, you can do that. Uh, it's really just a matter of how much time you want to spend on it uh, for the score that you want to get in the class. So we're going to go forward. Week four is exam two. Week three is exam, or week six is exam three. And then week eight, which is the end of the course, is going to be exam four. One thing I wanted to point out real quick. Exam four, this is something that's different for this class than previous classes. Exam four has an alternate assignment that you can do. So you don't have to do exam four if you want to do the alternate assignment. And the alternate assignment is here. It's called the company visit. So this is going to allow you then there's kind of some instructions and kind of what it's all about written here. And then the actual submission link is below in green. So really what it is, uh, in the live classes, what I do is I actually schedule a time to go and meet with a local production company. So we've visited Woodgrain, we've visited uh, Kraft Heinz, uh, there's been some other ag related um, companies that some students have visited that, that do production with, with onions and asparagus and different things. So you can visit any production company that you want to. So this one's on your own, right? Since we're on an online environment, I'm not necessarily, I'm not going to schedule your uh, appointment for you. Okay, so you're going to have to either know somebody or, or kind of do this on your own. Schedule an appointment to go and do a tour. And then uh, what you're going to do is you're going to do a write-up. And that's what the instructions right uh, on this page are for. The write-up is going to be relatively brief. Uh, you're going to have to draw a diagram with product flow and you're going to need to, importantly at the end, send a thank you email to the person that gave you the tour. Copy me on the email. So that's going to be, that way I kind of know uh, that you've wrapped up that last piece there and thank somebody for helping you with your education and then I can give you the points for that. Really, if you do this assignment, uh, you're going to get the complete 100 points. So if you really want to uh, wrap up the term well, I would do this assignment and you know figure out how you can get the time and, and do this assignment. You'll get 100 on that for that last exam anyways. So uh, some students in my live class actually do both. So if they don't get a perfect on the exam four, then they actually end up making up those points or getting a perfect score by doing the company visit as well. And so you can do both. You can do the, just the exam. You can do just the company visit, right? Uh, all, for all the effort, you basically get uh, the points that, that uh, it's going to be 100 points for any one of them. 
the exam, you get the score you get, company visit, you're going to get 100 points if you complete everything that's required on there. Okay, so if you have any further questions on that, send me an email, give me a call, and we can talk. Um, everything else is pretty, uh, pretty much the same. Uh, there's going to be, on the coursework side of things, of course, you, you need to start off, do the introduce yourself. A lot of you know each other, but go ahead and do the introduce yourself. Get that out of the way. I use this to do the uh, initial participation for the class for financial aid and student services. So do the introduce yourself. Also, you're going to have weekly participation journals. There should only be, there. well, there's only going to be eight journals that you have to do this term. Eight journals gives you the, all the points for that. This, these are easy points, so just get them done and um, get the points for that and they'll help you out in the end. And so also each chapter as you go into it is going to have your videos of course and there's also uh, there's interactive presentations for extra credit so there is extra credit per for each chapter just a little chunk of extra credit if you find the interactive presentations are helpful and good go ahead and do them get a little uh, extra credit and it might help you out as you go into the homework and quizzes uh, smart book of course is prerequisite to homework homework is prerequisite to uh, the quizzes and and then all of it's prerequisite for each exam as you sit for it right so you got to work through it in order so anyways hopefully this helps again I'm available it's summertime but definitely if you have any questions concerns contact me I'm more than willing to do a virtual meeting with you if you want to work through some of the problem sets together and uh, have a good summer term in Accounting 3.